Who's ready for some more RX 480 benchmarking? What's up guys, welcome back to Joe's Tech. If you guys haven't been following along, last week we were able to take a look at the RX 480 G1 Gaming by Gigabyte, the eight gig model. A uh, good friend of mine purchased it for an older AMD build that he has, uh, decided that he wanted to get a new car to replace his old R9 four, uh, sorry, R9 270Xs that were uh, made by Asus. Uh, with one newer gen card and then have the opportunity to maybe expand later. So he was kind enough to lend me that card so we could do a little head-to-head -head challenge against my GTX 1070. Uh, and then uh, before I gave them back to him, we went ahead and did a benchmark of his dual 270Xs versus the R9, uh, I'm sorry, the RX 480. Uh, so I thought today I could basically share my findings with you guys. Obviously, I don't have any visuals with me today. I did do the documentation. I did do the benchmarks on his system. And uh, just to give you guys a heads up, I'll leave the hardware that he has down in the description below. But uh, in case you guys are wondering, he has an FX8350 CPU and 16 gigs of DDR3 1600 uh, in that machine. And then of course, like I said, the ASUS 2 uh, R9-270Xs. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the benchmarks and uh, see how he did. All right guys, so the benchmarks are in. As you can see, the RX 480 G1 Gaming by Gigabyte seemed to be a huge improvement over two of the R9 270Xs that he had previously in his build. Uh, now, when you look at the Time Spy DX12 and the Fire Strike benchmarks, it looks like there was actually a stagnant change. You know, there wasn't, wasn't too much of an increase. In fact, I think in one of them there was a decrease with the RX 480. And I kind of think that the CPU kind of played a part in that with the, for some reason in that benchmark. Um, but it, that being said, the Heavens benchmark, which I feel like is kind of more of a heavy hitter on the CPU, on the GPU itself, uh, you know, we saw a frame rate that doubled. And of course, with The Division, which is a newer title, um, we saw a huge improvement as well, uh, which is kind of what he was going for. Because, you know, he wants to play some games and he wants them to be on Ultra. You, you don't want to spend that money and then, and then you know, feel like you, you kind of get gypped or whatever, right? So... A couple things I wanted to mention about the RX 480 G1 Gaming by Gigabyte. It does come out of the box with an overclock, which does not mean you're locked in at that uh, that clock speed. You can still make adjustments to the clock and the memory on the card. Uh, it does come with an aftermarket cooler, which is supposed to help with that factory overclock. Um, and it does come with full RGB LED lighting behind the Gigabyte logo and the FanStop logo. Now, um, one thing I want to mention about the card, and I'm sure everybody's seeing it online, the card does run pretty hot. It did get up into the 70s, uh, 70 degrees Celsius range when we were running the benchmark, and that's without further pushing the overclock. So the bottom line, would I recommend this card? Absolutely. I think that it's a great buy for somebody who's looking for uh, a great performer for a reasonable price, uh, especially if it's somebody that wants to buy one card now and potentially have the opportunity to add a second card later. Uh, when you look at the NVIDIA alternative, which is the GTX 1060, um, a lot of people are showing those benchmarks uh, as, as exceeding that of the RX 480, but the problem is it does not have an SLI bridge, so you're kind of locked in with that one card, and then if you ever wanted to add an additional card, you would need to remove that one and buy like a GTX 10, uh, 1070 or something like that. So. Uh, I think this is still a great option, I think it's a great card even though there are some reports of the card running uh, pretty hot, which, hey, get adequate cooling and you'll be happy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos, sorry I didn't have any visuals for you guys today, obviously my buddy lent me the hardware and I'm sure he wanted to get it back and he wanted to start playing some games and editing some photos, so uh, I had to get that stuff back to him. Uh, if you guys haven't already gone over to Twitter and followed me at the Joe's Tech, please do that now. And uh, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me that thumbs up on the way out. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comment section below. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. And until next time, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. Have a good night.